I just shot a deer. It's almost five o'clock. I am just now settled into the tree. I am in um, Headwater State Forest. I scouted this particular area earlier in the summer. With any luck, we'll be dragging a deer out of here. All right, it's time to get quiet. I've only got about an hour and a half left. Okay, so I'd been in this particular spot for about 30 minutes, and um, this doe comes running out. She's 50, 60 yards out, full tilt. No way I could get a shot at her. Um, she's running north to south. She gets down there. She stops for just a second. You'll see right here, and then she turns around. She comes running back up towards me. There she goes and hooks a 180 and heads south again and then she was just kind of gone i never saw her again after that so i don't know what's going on with her after seeing that doe my senses were on high alert i was excited at this point in the season i already had over 170 hours of stand time i did some looking around I had only had one other opportunity to shoot at anything this entire season. So I did some more looking around. I was hoping that being here on public property, I might actually get lucky and be able to shoot something. It was probably an additional 30 minutes later when three deer came down from the north over the ridge headed in my direction. I worked to get the camera stable and zoom in so we could get a better look at them. You'll see it looks like we have three deer headed our way. I've seen more deer in the last hour than I've seen the entire previous part of the season. After looking at each of these deer in the binos, I decided not to shoot any of them just yet. Let's take a look from a different angle and see what's going on. One of these deer is edging closer and closer to my tree stand, just to the left of this pine tree. This is a closer look at that buck that was at the top of the screen earlier. He's making his way down to the pine tree, same as the other buck. 
I probably could have shot this buck right there in the opening, but this is the point where I wanted to see if I could get a better video of this young buck coming directly underneath my tree. He's only a couple of feet away from my tree right there. Straight down. I start to get the camera in place and centered on the buck that was in the upper portion of the screen. See if we can get a better look at him. Now I know what you're thinking. Look at this good hunter letting all these young bucks walk by. But I can assure you that is definitely not the case. I come from a long line of hunters that have been shooting tomorrow's trophies today. Right. Let's take a look at the way that whole situation went down from a different angle. Preferably one where the deer is more in center of the frame. You can see the one buck directly down below me just under my right arm as I draw. I watched that buck run about a hundred yards away before I lost him in the brush. It felt like a solid shot even though it might have been a few inches high. I was confident he would be dead down there. The audio on this particular camera went out about this time. I have better equipment these days. But as you can tell, I'm very excited. Let's walk over here and take a look at this arrow. punch a tag for that I'm excited I've got tons and tons of hours into this so 
I'm excited about it. Super excited. My first public land buck with a bow. And the moon's coming up over there. Tickled to death. Just grateful to be here. So thankful to be able to do this. All right, I'm gonna haul him back to the house and see if anybody else gets excited. <laughs> Here we go. We're in the pack out now. Heavy, heavy. I guess I've been moving for about half a mile now. Oh, gosh, stop and rest every little bit. But hey, this is the uh, this is the best part, right? Okay, back to dragging.